Hi, I'm Miss Pam. Today we're going to read an article written by the Associated Press and adapted by Newzella. If you would please get out a piece of paper and a pencil so you can jot notes as I read and feel free to read along. And at the end, we'll take a short quiz and you can write your answers on that paper. Okay, the name of the article is, get that out of the way, Infecting Our Dreams, Pandemic Sabotages Sleep Worldwide. <clears throat> sleep does not bring relief for millions of people around the world dealing with the threat of the coronavirus pandemic. The horrors of the coronavirus 2019 are infecting their dreams. The virus is called COVID-19 for short. Everyone from a college teacher in Pakistan to a mall cashier in Canada to an Episcopal priest in Florida is waking up in a sweat in the dead of night. It's that alarming feeling of when you wake up and think, oh, thank heavens I woke up said Holly Smith, an elementary school librarian in Detroit, Michigan. Once it hits your dreams, you think, great, now I can't even escape it there. Heavy psychological toll. The psychological toll is heavy, particularly for healthcare workers whose dreams show similarities to those of combat veterans and 9-11 responders psychologist Deidre Bar Barrett says, terrorist attacks on September 11th, 2001, hit the Twin Towers in New York and the Pentagon in Washington, DC. Barrett, a Harvard University professor, has been surveying COVID dreamers worldwide. So far, she has collected 6,000 dream samples from about 2,400 people. So many people are sharing accounts of dreams online that there's a Twitter account dedicated to gathering them under the handle, I dream of COVID. As far as I know, no one has dream samples from the flu pandemic of 1918, and that would probably be the most comparable thing, said Brett. Now we just all have our smartphones by our bed so you can just reach over and speak to it or type it down. Recording our dreams has never been easier. Universal themes. Our dreams are exposing what is bothering us the most about the pandemic. The themes seem universal. Dreams of a once safe place suddenly overtaken by the virus Speak to contagion, contagion's terrifying invisibility, Kathy Carruth says. Carruth, a professor at Cornell University in New York, has spent over the past 30 years studying the effects of deeply upsetting or disturbing experiences or trauma. Pandemic dreams, she says, are similar to the dreams of Hiroshima survivors who worried about invisible radiation exposures. The United States dropped an atomic bomb on the city of Hiroshima during World War II. They also resemble some nightmares described by Vietnam vets. They seem to be in part about the things that are hard to grasp. What it means that anybody can be a threat and you can be a threat to everybody, Peru says. Fears of the unknown. Episcopal priest Mary Alice Matheson dreamed 500 people showed up for a funeral in her church and wouldn't go home. Other dreams reflect the fact that no one knows how the pandemic will end. In those dreams, wake dreamers wakes with a start before learning how it turned out. Ashley Trevino is still trying to process one terrifying dream. The 24-year-old coffee shop employee is out of work due to the pandemic, 
and was spooked when officials announced the first COVID-19 death in her central Texas county. A few days later, she dreamed she and her girlfriend were in line to enter a dark metal warehouse where they would be injected with the new coronavirus by government workers wearing hazmat suits. Fluorescent lights in the parking lot cast an eerie glow as she watched her partner get the shot and gasped for breath. Then she got the shot too. Trevino woke up whimpering. She immediately felt an impulse to share her nightmare with someone, anyone, and tweeted it to the world from her bed. In Pakistan's Punjab province, a college literature teacher described dreaming she was one of only 100 people left on the planet who didn't have COVID-19. The infected population had gained political control and was chasing the uninfected. So the world would become the same for everyone, said Roha Rafik, age 28. Rafik is terrified for her elderly father who insists on going to prayers every day despite a cough and a stay-at-home order. I think this anxiety has given me this dream, she said. According to Barrett, many people dream they are sick with COVID-19 or of being overcome by what seem to be stand-ins for the virus. Swarms of bugs, slithering worms, witches, grasshoppers with fangs. Others dream of being in a crowded place without a mask or proper social distancing. Still, others dream of losing control. In one such dream, the dreamer was held down by infected people who coughed on her. Most are lower level anxiety dreams, not trauma-induced nightmares, but that changes dramatically for frontline healthcare workers, Barrett says. Trauma population of healthcare workers. The healthcare providers are the ones who look like a trauma population. They are having flat out nightmares that reenact the things that they're experiencing. And they all have the theme that I am responsible for saving this person's life and I'm not succeeding, and this person is about to die, she said. And when they dream about their child or parent getting it, for the care providers, there's always the next step in the dream where they realize, and I gave it to them. Even the simple, unadorned dreams, far from the drama of the hospital, seem especially touching right now. Some people dream of getting a hug, attending a party, getting a haircut, or going to the library. Laura Nichols, age 30, devoted reader, stocked up on library books before Ohio's stay-at-home order. Now her supply is running low. She recently dreamed her dresser was piled with books. She found the dream reassuring, but it reminded her of the everyday things that have been lost. I guess it's a bit of a sense of shared community, but it's also really sad that we're all missing things. It really shows you all the things that you do without realizing it, she said. And now that you can't, it's a shock to the system. Okay, that is the end of our article. So let's Move on with the quiz. Four questions, just the short one. So, first question. According to the article, many people are posting descriptions of their stressful dreams on social media. Which paragraph best supports this idea? A, sleep does not bring relief for millions of people around the world dealing with the threat of the coronavirus pandemic. The horrors of the coronavirus 2019 are infecting their dreams. The virus is called 
COVID-19 for short. Okay, we want to find the one that supports that people are posting their dreams on social media. B, so many people are sharing accounts of dreams online that there's a Twitter account dedicated to gathering them under the handle, I dream of COVID. Or C, they seem to be in part about things that are hard to grasp what it means that anybody can be a threat and you can be a threat to everybody, Caruth said. Or D, most are low-level anxiety dreams, not trauma-induced nightmares, but that changes dramatically for the front health workers, frontline health workers, Perez says. Okay, so mark down your answer. We're going to go through all the questions first, and then we'll come back and go over the answers. Question two. Read the following sentences from the article. And then we're going to pick which sentences taken together provide the best evidence to support the idea that coronavirus Related dreams often have similar themes or contents. Okay, we got four sentences from the article, and we're gonna we're going to need to pick two. So let's read our sentences. One, everybody from a college teacher in Pakistan stand to a mall cashier in Canada to an Episcopal priest in Florida is waking up in a sweat in the dead of night. Two, dreams of a once safe place suddenly overtaken by the virus speak to contagions, terrifying invisibility, Kathy Carruth says. Or three, according to Barrett, many people dream they are sick with COVID-19 or of being overcome by what seem to be stand-ins for the virus. Swarms of bugs, slithering worms, witches, grasshoppers with fangs. Or four, even the simple unadorned dreams, far from the drama of the hospital, seem especially touching right now. Okay, so we wanna pick two sentences that we just read taken together, provide the best evidence to support the idea that coronavirus-related dreams often have similar themes. So your choices are one and two, Remember, you can pause this if I'm going too fast. Or is it one and four? C, is it two and three? Or is it D? three and four. Okay, moving on. Question three, which of the following would best describe Deidre Barrett's reaction to the coronavirus? She's the one collecting all the dreams. She shared the effects of the virus on her dreams with other people on social media. B, she began dreaming about swarms of insects overcoming her. C, she established a support network for medical workers experiencing nightmares. And D, she started surveying the effects of the virus on the people's dreams. 
Okay, and our last question. Which characterization accurately describes both Roja Rafik and Lauren Nichols? A, they both had dreams affected by COVID-19. B, they are both worried about their parents' health. C, they both had dreams in which they were injected with COVID-19. D, they are both working remotely during COVID-19. So which of those describes both Roja and Lauren? Okay. Let's go back and go back over the quiz and talk about the right answers. So according to the article, many people posting are posting descriptions of their stressful dreams on social media. Which paragraph best supports this idea? Correct answer is B. So many people are sharing accounts of dreams online that there's a Twitter account dedicated to gathering them under the handle, I dream of COVID. Question two, we had to read the four sentences and decide which two support which are, are the best evidence to support the idea that coronavirus related dreams often have similar themes or contents? And the correct answer was two and three. Two and three. Okay, third question. Which of the following would, be, would best describe Deidre Barrett's reaction to the coronavirus. D, she started surveying the effects of the virus on people's dreams. And last question, which characterization accurately describes both Roja and Lauren? And it was A, they both had dreams affected by COVID-19. Okay. That concludes our article and our little lesson today here. I hope you learned something. I know that I did. I thank you for listening and I wish you a beautiful day.